Yeah, so... I'm feeling self-conscious right now, lately, because I have been experiencing an outbreak of really bad acne that I've never had before. I'm 32 years old and I have teenage acne. Are my hormones confused? I don't know. Anyway, so I decided to put on my hoodie and sunglasses because I feel less self-conscious this way and I don't look so bad. Today is January 23rd, 644 p.m. I just got home from work and I was watching a daily vlog of Jesse Spano and I said, you know what? I don't care that my face looks like it has a billion speed bumps all over it. I feel like vlogging and I need to push myself out of my comfort zone and stop holding back just because I have acne or whatever other imperfections that I'm sure you guys will be happy to point out because this is YouTube and that's what happens. And I have been doing so good at vlogging or blogging on a daily basis. Now, this is my first daily blog, sorry, but I have been blogging daily on Tumblr since January 1st. Um, I may have missed a couple days, but I always make up for it by doing a lot of posts, or at least more than one, and the next day to make up for it. So if you want to find out where you can read my daily blogs, I will put a link down below. And I actually have three blogs on Tumblr. That looks so much better. I have three blogs on Tumblr, so I'll also link those down below. And, yeah. So, I'm wearing a hoodie that I bought at Disneyland Christmas time of 2000. I think it was 2010 or 2011 and though I have been a Southern California resident my whole life that was my very first time and so far only time that I've gone to Christmas time at Disneyland don't ask so um, like the me that I am I tend to overanalyze or under, or overestimate how the weather is going to be when I go to Disneyland so I don't bring enough to keep me warm and maybe it's just a subconscious way of of <laughs> permitting myself to buy another hoodie at Disneyland because I don't care if it's like 50 bucks or whatever these things are warm this is my warmest hoodie that I have and I love hoodies and um, it's a Tinkerbell hoodie and I'll kind of stand up and show it to you. So it's got the cute little flowers all over it. Flowers here and wait, what side? It says spoiled here, which I'm not. Um, and there was something else I was going to show you. I think it's on this arm. It says Tinkerbell. And if I turn around on the back, it I think it says sassy and spoiled. At least that's what my coworker said because she loved it when she saw me wearing it earlier this week. So that is what I'm wearing and it's really comfortable. It has the um, the warm, I don't know if it's fleece. You know how you wear some hoodies and it doesn't have any kind of a lining. It's just the same material that's on the outside and doesn't keep you warm. This keeps me so warm. I feel so warm when I wear it. So that's that. And these glasses, I got, covering my cheeks, I got these glasses at H&M and I'm not going to take them all the way off. I'm just going to look cool today, aka my mask when I'm having a self-conscious day. These are only like five bucks at H&M. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's awesome. 
you can't tell on the computer, but my I dyed my hair purple. Finally! Um, it doesn't show up on the camera that well, but it is purple. Um, I'm so happy. I had been wanting purple hair for the past two years, but for the majority of the past two or three years, I was working at a law office, so it's, of course, very conservative, so you can't be yourself and be creative and all that stuff. They don't understand that that world. Um, and I've been working for a, um, a school for the past year, and, you know, I kind of gauged the culture while I was working there, and they're pretty open and cool with, you know, tattoos, piercings, hair color, you know, I've... Anyway, so I was excited, so I decided to color it myself because when I went to um, my hairstylist, you know, she seemed like she was on the same page as me when I set the appointment and told her I want my whole head purple, and I told her several times. And when I go the day of the appointment and sit in her chair, she's like, oh, we're not doing your whole head purple. She just up and decided that that's what hairstylists are like that. Have you noticed that? They do whatever they want to your hair and you pay them. So, being the YouTube addict that I am, I I watch videos on people dyeing their hair all the time. I watch all these beauty videos and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. People have been dyeing their hair for ages and it's time that I dye my own hair. It was the first time that I myself bleached my hair let me, let me rewind and tell you about this experience. So, I wanted the purple hair, right, but I was scared of bleaching my hair. I know. I know. I know. And I know I look crazy right now with my hood on and my glasses. I don't care. So, I went to Sally's and I said, I want to get my hair to be purple. Because, mind you, I was, um, I'm a dark-haired naturally dark brown but I dye it jet black so I like a jet black whatever so what happened was is I went to Sally's and I said I want to lighten my hair color but I don't want to bleach it so that I can achieve the purple hair color and they said well just get a color corrector and lift your hair color okay cool I tried it and it lifted the hair color but only to like a a lighter brown color and so I'm like mm, it's probably not going to take but I bought two tubes of purple just in case um, and I put the purple on top after I lifted the hair color and you couldn't tell that it was purple um, it just looked black as we all know that's the effect it's going to have you're not going to see the true color unless you bleach your hair if you're not already a natural blonde I learned that the hard way it's okay trial and error. So I just said screw it. I went and bought the bleach from Sally's. It was by Splat and it's it was like the the lightning fast bleach kit. And I already had my extra tube of purple, so I came home, bleached my hair. My hair my hair took to the bleach really well because within 20 minutes my whole head was blonde. And I seriously stood there in front of the mirror with my jaw open, like, just gaped open, like, I have blonde hair. I'm one of those people, I don't think blonde hair is good on a lot of black people. So, you won't see me walk around with a whole head of blonde hair. Maybe some streaks or, like, you know, one patch of blonde and the rest a darker color. But I just don't think that most or a lot of black people should have blonde hair and I'm black so don't hate and of course that's just my opinion do you so bleached my hair dyed it purple fell in love everyone around me at work and everyone loves it they could tell right away that it was purple um, so I love my purple hair and um, I think what I'm going to do next, because there are just, you know how you just, you hate how you have all these ideas of things you want to do, and then you keep thinking about it and thinking about it. It's like, just get out there and do it already. This was one of them, and there's a couple other things, three things that I want to also do this year, which I hope happen fairly soon, depending on how much it will all cost. 
I want to get my dermal piercing right here for a beauty mark because I love having I put a fake beauty mark with um wet eyeliner all the time and I love it because I, I just love it and because I love like the whole retro pinup look as well um, and I'm like you know what I'm sick of having to put it on my face every day I just want something there permanently and I thought okay I'll just get a tattoo but the place where I want it on my eye sorry it's I have this freckle kind of a raised freckle or mole right here on my face um, it's not showing up on the camera but that's where I'll just put like the the fake um, beauty mark on top of that um, and I wanted to just instead just get it uh, get it tattooed on my face and just leave it there permanently but they don't recommend um, getting a tattoo on a mole because if it ever turns out to be cancerous because the ink is in there permanently it'll be hard to detect any cancerous cells in an x-ray so we don't want to take that risk and yeah I could put it on this side of my face but I don't like it on that side it's like there's a certain side of my body where I like where it you know to my eye it looks better I don't know that's just me so what I decided to do instead was just get a dermal piercing near that area not on the beauty mark but you know on the left side of my eye so that's where I want to get the dermal piercing that's one of the things I want to do and I also want to get my cartilage pierced up here I've been wanting that for a long time too so when I get that and I'm not going to do it at Claire's or icing with the gun I've read up on that it's not the smart thing to do so I'm not I'm not doing that I'm going to go to a professional piercer and get it done the right way the second thing and then ultimately da 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 me and one of my girlfriends are going to get a tattoo I'm so excited mine is going to be the words music is my god because it is that if you asked me what expression would define me music is my god because it literally is um, and I think I want to get it on my arm right down the forearm um, I want it to be somewhere where it's a public statement obviously so obviously my arm because I'm not going to put it on my face or here um, and my hand not so much so I think that's the best way to put it I even thought about putting it like I like seeing tattoos on the curve of a certain part of women's bodies it just makes it look more feminine and sexy but then I can't see it when it's there because I want to look at it you know what I'm saying so that's those are the three exciting things I want to do and that have been on my mind and I like I said I just wanted to do a daily vlog or a vlog I did blog today but I just felt like vlogging because I, I love watching people's daily vlogs and I'm like you know what instead of watching just do it and if you're concerned about the acne on your face then just cover it up somehow conceal yourself and just tell the world you know I'm feeling vulnerable and insecure today I'm human I can be real about that all right I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat and um, again I will link to my daily blog and a lot of the time I'm better in writing anyway so that's why I prefer blogging anyway but on days where I feel like getting on the camera and talking to you I will do so and days where you're wondering why doesn't she have a vlog up if it's going to be a daily vlog just go check out my blog and and that be that so I'm going to go eat some dinner because my stomach is growling and I will talk to you later YouTube